when I posted this uh, baby picture, the one that appears in the screen, people had mixed reaction. Uh, some did say that uh, the mother was having too much sex and uh, some also did comment that the baby is fat and very healthy and uh, some did say that uh, uh, it is uh, prematurity. Uh, looking at this particular picture or even pictures clearly, uh, you can see that uh, the baby is covered uh, with a whitish uh, thick layer and it's creamy uh, and uh, cheese-like substance uh, covering over all over the body or parts of the body of this particular baby or this particular babies. This is what we call vernix caseosa, vernix caseosa, and it is seen immediately after birth. Uh, basically, uh, it is formed uh, intrauterine during the last three months of the pregnancy that is the last trimester of the pregnancy now let's take this keenly based on the comments uh, the people uh, normally uh, depict about the whitish uh, thick cheese like substance all over the body that we've said uh, it's a uh, venix caseosa uh, there are myths and cultural beliefs that surrounds the venix caseosa and i want to debunk uh, those particular myths so that oh, I want to debunk the myths and the cultural beliefs that surrounds the Vanix Cassiosa so that we can understand this fully. Some do say that Vanix is dead and should be washed immediately. World Health Organization pediatrician uh, normally uh, advise that uh, you should not clean or wipe out the Vanix Cassiosa at least 6 to 24 hours after birth and this allows for absorption and screen uh, skin protection of this uh, your baby and some also believe that is a sign of impurity it's a curse it's a bad man or some spiritual impunity kindly note that uh, vanix caseosa is healthy secretion formed by a fetal subsidiary gland so it's not a bad man or even a curse and funnily enough some also do believe that uh, when a baby is born with uh, vernix caseosa uh, the mother had been practicing too much or excess coitus or sexual intercourse when she was pregnant this is a blatant lie uh, that we should be able to brush and uh, you listen carefully to the scientific evidence that i'm going to uh, give about uh, the venix caseosa that only premature babies have it although preterm and premature babies normally have excess venix caseosa but even full term babies have it. All babies have vernix caseosa, except that some do have excess, some do have much. It is case by case as per your baby. And uh, some cultural beliefs uh, do believe that uh, you should wash uh, these white substances immediately so that it helps the baby to smell better. That's a myth, uh, that's a lie. Uh, because uh, vernix caseosa has a neutral smell uh, that helps in the maternal bonding to calm both the mother and the baby. But they believe that uh, it is very harmful to the mother during breastfeeding. This is a lie because vernix caseosa is sterile and safe for your baby and the mother even during breastfeeding. So this calls for what are the functions of the Vanix Caseosa? If you really love this video, do not forget to hit the notification bell, hit and subscribe, turn it on for more videos that uh, we will post. Now, one of the major functions of Vanix Caseosa is to protect your baby skin uh, because it acts as a barrier between the delicate skin and amniotic fluid, and this normally prevents the skin of your baby from being wrinkled or even macerated. So do not wash it immediately. It also provides some antibacterial properties because it contains some antibacterial peptides and enzymes that protect the fetus from infection, especially during uh, labor and uh, 
uh, delivery and also it regulates the temperature that surrounds your baby and prevent what we call hypothermia and this is very very important to provide insulation of the baby after birth just preventing your baby from being getting cold yeah the baby can catch some diseases uh, like pneumonia caused by hypothermia now it's very very important because it lubricates uh, the baby during during delivery and this as you can notice those who have seen this makes the baby more slippery helping to smoothen the passage of the birth canal during delivery so it's very very important in that particular function it also provides and support skin development uh, it aids the skin to hydrate and form the acidic mantle that provide a protective layer of your uh, baby after birth kindly note that it also contains some antioxidant role uh, it contains what we call vitamin E that help to neutralize the oxidative stress during childbirth so kindly note that venix gaseosa is a, a biological armor that protects nourishes and supports your baby's transition from the wound to the outside world if you feel this channel is very very important for you kindly click the notification bell return subscribe turn it on for more videos that uh, we will post and if you have delivered your baby and your baby is crying too much your baby can't sleep there's too much abdominal colic watch this video because there's a very very important drug that if you use hi your baby will just sleep very very smoothly throughout the night and if at all you are still pregnant you must know danger signs during pregnancy click this video that appears up here so that you are well conversant with that and uh, if you see any danger or experience it go to the hospital immediately and kindly attend your antenatal clinic do not forget the series that uh, we are still continuing with of hiv we've done stage one stage two stage three and the one that is loading is stage four i thank you all my fans for those who have been uh, with me from day one up to now that we have 21,000 subscribers see you in the next video and remember hit this notification bell return subscribe turn it on for more videos that i will post muchas gracias